Somebody comes across as saying they're more intelligent, I don't think those kinds of people should be advised by you if they're talking to you like that. I think it's better to get them advised by elders or other peers. Because if you come, if you, if they're talking like that to you and then you tell them, I don't think you should talk like that or whatever, you're just going to create more antagonism. It's, it's, sometimes it's good to get a third party in a subtle and careful way throw it in. And the other thing is, this is what I learned, this is sometimes this wisdom you learn from elder Muslims. There's this, there's this personal story, there's a brother in a masjid, I know, I, I have, most of my best friends are really old people. So then they're in their 70s and 80s and such, right? This is a really old gentleman, and he, you know, we used to meet at the masjid every day and stuff. And there was a fight in the masjid. There was a nasty fight. You know, you've seen one of those? They're pretty ugly. Okay. So these two guys are just going at it, and they're really nasty to each other. And, you know, one basically calls the other dumb, essentially. I'll, I'll do watered down versions, okay? But anyway, this older gentleman knows both of them and stops talking to both of them. He's always nice, he says salam to them, how are you, and just walks away. Usually he's like, makes longer conversation. He's very cordial, but he walks away. And you know, he's so wonderful in his personality, those people, they feel it. They feel like he doesn't talk to us like he used to anymore. So one day, one of them, this happened in front of me, one of them just came up to him and said, you know, you don't talk to me like you used to. Are you mad at me? He goes, no, I'm not mad at you at all. She says, but you're, you don't talk to me the same way. He goes, yes, I don't. So why don't you? He says, look, I saw you get angry with that other brother the other day. And I just got scared, maybe one day you'll get angry at me. I'm just, uh, I, I wouldn't want you to be angry at me, so I'm just trying to be safe. Like he put it in such a soft way, and the guy felt so bad, he went and apologized to the other brother and they made up. Right? That's the wisdom of an elder, you know, they know how to uh, approach things. You know, and this, this sometimes it's the way, it's our demeanor towards people. You know, you can show some some people, you can show someone that you've hurt their that they've hurt your feelings, without actually saying. It. You can show it with sort of a distant demeanor, and you can and, and people if people use hurtful words towards you. My advice is to distance yourself from them in a respectful way, though. Still, we we don't cut relations in Islam. We don't do that. We don't cut ourselves off from people. But it's a healthy thing too distance yourself from someone who uses abusive language towards you. That's a healthy thing to do. And if there's any ounce of good in them, they will feel it. Right? And they'll come to you and say, what's happening? Why aren't you talking to me? But if there's no good in them, guess what? They'll say, ah, good for them, good for me. I don't want to talk to you anyway. So that's probably good for both of you. Right? But distancing yourself is probably my best advice. Inshallah ta'ala. That, that's the, it's a silent kind of advice.